I'm Isabel Thornton, Executive Director of Restoration Housing. Thanks for joining us for today's Architectural Minute, where we'll be visiting 326 Dale Avenue and explore the unique floor plan configuration that makes it appear like two row houses connected to each other. Three twenty six Dale Avenue is a circa eighteen ninety three Queen Anne house located in the newly nominated Belmont Historic District in southeast Roanoke. It's currently under construction and will ultimately serve as permanent supportive housing for formerly homeless individuals once complete in the fall of this year. This unique house is quite large and has an unusual floor plan that resembles row housing, with two entirely separate entrances, corridors, and stairways sharing a central load-bearing wall. Yet, as we found in our deed research, it belonged to one family for many years and sits on one parcel of land. We did some architectural digging to try to understand the design. In our early stages of pre-development, architect Jeff Wood and members of Restoration Housing's team were puzzled over the unique configuration and how we should design the rear porches, which were not original to the structure and a great state of disrepair. We looked to Sanborn maps to identify the original design. These maps were used for fire insurance purposes to show forms of egress, and they're a great tool for preservationists to find evidence of original designs. We uncovered two phases of construction for this house, one in 1893 and another in 1907. The second phase of construction is the section of the house on the right facade. We then dug around the city directory archives to investigate who the residents were during the 1907 edition. It appeared that while these were family members, they were extended family members who were related to the original owner and builder, Sylvester Seaford, who was twice mayor of Roanoke at the turn of the century. Some of this house's unusual features continue to astound me as we uncover its history during the construction process. While it doesn't follow most patterns of construction, it's not all that dissimilar from the concept of a mother-in-law flat, which allows for multiple generations to live in close proximity within one parcel. I hope you enjoyed this architectural minute. Please tune in next week as we explore 530 Day Avenue.